preemptive uh, disclaimer that my, <laughs> my children are quite grouchy today. So if you hear screeching, eking, or other odd children sounds in the background, they're just a little bit cranky. I think the, uh, the shake up to routine is really <laughs> starting to get to them. So um, they'll just be in the background. That's just the way it is over in our house. So <laughs> uh, I apologize if that's a distraction, but uh, we've come to be quite used to it. So <laughs> in fact, I don't know if, it, if there wasn't the sound of children laughing and crying in the background at, at any given point in the day, I don't know if, uh, if I, I, might, I might lose my mind a little bit actually. <laughs> We're going to get started here in just a minute. Um, my uh, my beloved cut my hair yesterday. That's the first time I've ever, and I know I made a joke about this a, a few weeks ago. That's the first time, legitimately, that in nearly ten years that we've been together, uh, whether dating or married, um, that uh, that I let her cut my hair. Thank you for coming on uh, to celebrate this Good Friday together and to sing some uh, worship again to God, uh, specifically thinking on the cross of Jesus. Um, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing to think about uh, when we think about the, the sacrifice for sin that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, and, uh, and we're thankful for that this morning. We're thankful for forgiveness, we're thankful for freedom in Christ. And, uh, and we just want to sing to him to, to give him that, uh, that praise that he deserves. So uh, let's, let's uh, pray to God for a moment and then we'll begin. God, we, uh, we thank you for the cross. We thank you that, uh, that you've given us hope through Jesus Christ, that you've given us a, a new way uh, to you. Father, the veil is torn because of, uh, because of what he has done. We can... Uh, see you face to face someday because uh, his blood was spilled for us. So, Father, we pray that um, that this morning we would just uh, we really just honestly lift our praise to you, Father. That we would truly just revel in the joy of of what you've done for us, Father. And, and as we remember your sacrifice, I pray that we would not take that lightly, but that we would just uh, just sit here and or stand here and just revel in the fact that we're free in Christ. So we thank you. We give you praise, and we want to sing some songs to you this morning. We pray that you would accept our humble offering of praise. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Alrighty, let's sing uh, Here I Am to Worship.
that. I really appreciate uh, that uh, sort of engagement with everybody and uh, just being able to sort of uh, connect a little bit in that way. So uh, keep them coming. If uh, there's a song you want to sing, send it my way. I can't guarantee it that we'll do it, but uh, you know, I'll give it my best shot and, uh, and we'll see what we can do. So uh, keep sending uh, the songs that you want to sing uh, our way and we'll, we'll do what we can. Let's sing There's a Redeemer. through my little program here that uh, controls these uh, sort of uh, uh, set list things. That's what the app is called. It's called set list. Uh, that's how I project the slides up onto the screen. Um, and uh, I'm <laughs> just kind of noticing that this is the fourth uh, time that we've done this together. So that actually marks, I think, five weeks of, uh, of not having church together. So we're, uh, we're over a month now of not gathering together um in person which is you know it's a little bit heartbreaking to be honest uh but you know what again we're thankful that uh, that we have at least some way to keep connected 
and especially, you know, just to connect together in worship to God, uh, more sort of more corporately than uh, than just individuals in our homes, which I'm sure we do anyway. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, just really praying that uh, that we're able to meet together again soon because uh, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a bummer. I know, uh, you know, like Eli, even he's. Uh, He's really missing seeing all his Sunday school friends. He's missing church a lot, and uh, Alex and I are too. Kira's a little bit young to be missing that, I think, but uh, we'll say she is too, just for uh, just just for fun. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So uh, you know, it's 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 tough, but uh, we're thankful we can do this, and you know, especially today being Good Friday, we're thankful that we can uh, sing these songs together. Uh, Marty requested this song. Um, I had never really sang it before, so we'll give it a try, <laughs> and uh, and we'll see what happens. I see the stars, I 
Saul and uh, just his disobedience to God <laughs> in so many ways and uh, it's it's almost painful to read because it just seems so obvious what the answer is for him and it, 
I've said this before where it's, it's, you know, we have this great gift of being able to see the whole events of these people in the Bible and their lives and being able to say, oh, you could have done that better. And if you didn't do that, then you wouldn't have had this at the end of that road. So, but thinking about Saul specifically, he, uh, he disobeyed God on several occasions, didn't he? And, and of course, God rejected him as king. Uh, and Samuel spoke those words of God to, to Saul, you know, to obey is to, better than sacrifice. But, uh, and, you know, I'm thinking about how that, uh, that line there uh, relates to the Lord Jesus on the cross. Uh, we got the best of both worlds. We got obedience, which was Christ obeying his call from his Father to go to the cross and die for our sins. But also, we got the sacrifice for our sins. He obeyed the will of the Lord, and he also sacrificed himself for us. What a tremendous truth that is uh, about what he's accomplished on the cross for us. So let's sing together when I survey the wondrous cross.
want to give him everything we are this morning in thinking about his death. We never want to forget. And we want to just show him how thankful we are. This is another song that I'd, I'd actually never played before, really. I've heard it a few times, but uh, uh, Nancy had requested that we do this one, and I thought it was just so fitting um, that we sing this song together, um, just thinking about the cross and how love indeed ran red uh, in the blood of Jesus Christ for our sins. opportunity to sing to you. We thank you that we can sing songs of praise wherever we are. Father, we thank you for the cross of Christ, where, uh, where he was sacrificed for us. And uh, we thank you that we're whole because of him. Thank you that our sin is washed away. We've made, uh, been washed white as snow. The sin is no more. Father, we thank you. And uh, we just pray as we sing this last song together, that you would again just accept our humble offering of praise to you. In Jesus' name. The 
song is called Mercy Tree. Hallelujah.